We are now joined by Professor Miriam Meckel. She is Professor for Communication Management at the University of St. Gallen and Faculty Associate at the Berkman Center for Internet and Society at Harvard University. She's also a speaker at this year's St. Gallen Symposium. Professor Meckel, thank you very much for being with us and attending the St. Gallen Symposium. Professor Meckel, in your book, Next, you argue that the Internet is leading us into a new dimension which will have a huge influence on our daily actions. What are the major risks of being online and do we underestimate them? I guess it's not in the first place a risk of, uh, to be online. It's a good thing as well because the internet opens up a realm of new information for us all. But um, what might be risky is a lack of understanding of the people using the internet um, to understand that their data is used by companies, maybe even by governments, by state organizations, and that you have to protect your privacy, that you have to protect your data, and you have to be careful with some information you put on the web. That's a risk uh, I'm trying to address with the book. In an interview with Die Zeit, you indicated that there is not just one identity. What do you mean by stating that the person has a virtual and a real identity? I guess we have a lot of examples for uh, people, especially young people, who try to, to set up uh, an online identity that is pretty much different from their real analog life identity, which means you can be a little bit more beautiful, you can be a different person, you can even have a different gender, you can be um, very much related to, to other groups online. So this is an, an, a display of identity, a construction of identity that might be complementary to your analog life. And again, uh, where risk comes into play is when people start to live in their online identity more than in their real-life identity, which um, in a study by Sherry Turkle, a young um, American student once um, said uh, or described like this, he said, a reality is just one more window and it's probably not my best one. <laughs> All right, coming to your personal experiences. In your book Burnout, you write about your own recovery after having experienced one. Is a burnout a logical consequence of the desire to achieve more And can it be regarded as an emerging societal risk? I guess that, that the burnout syndrome, which is a word that, it's not, that is very diffuse, not really good, uh, well defined, burnout syndrome um, uh, is something that can be described as a societal risk coming up related to uh, the acceleration of our lives. The, the information input, the information overflow we have to deal with, multitasking, all those kinds of different things that have really deeply changed our lives. And so I guess it's important to talk about this because detecting a risk and dealing with a risk means um, in the first place you have to understand it and you have to speak up and say this is one, this is a risk and people have to be careful about this. Talking about risks, what has been the well, biggest risk you have ever taken in your life? Well, um, it might have been the, the, the step into politics I did in the year 2000 to, to become government spokeswoman uh, of a minister president in North Norway's failure without being member of a party and without having any uh, idea about politics and any experience. That was quite a risk-taking um, for me, but it was uh, nevertheless a good one. It turned out to be a good one with a great experience. Professor Meckel, thank you very much for your statement and your time and enjoy your stay here at the St. Gallen Symposium. Thank you very much.